Welcome back. Let's turn now to that 2024 election. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump wrapped up that highly anticipated debate last night. For about 90 minutes, the candidates went head to head on some of the nation's top issues. CBS News correspondent Jared Hill is in Philadelphia for us with a recap of some of the night's biggest moments and early reaction from the candidates themselves. Good morning, Jared. Hey, good morning, Clay and Tracy. So you had both of these camps here saying uh, that they won. This is a much different night and a, a much different morning at this point from what we saw after the Trump-Biden debate. Now both Trump and Harris saying this was a win for them. Let's have a good debate. Good to see you. A handshake kicked off the first meeting between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. But the 90-minute debate soon turned into a sparring match over issues like the economy. I imagine and have actually a plan to build what I call an opportunity economy. I had no inflation, virtually no inflation. They had the highest inflation. Abortion. For years, they wanted to get it out of Congress and out of the federal government. And we did something that everybody said couldn't be done. The government and Donald Trump certainly should not be telling a woman and what to do with her body. And immigration. They've destroyed the fabric of our country. Millions of people let in. What we have in the former president is someone who would prefer to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. The former president even spreading misinformation about migrants in Ohio. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. He also repeatedly worked to link Harris to President Joe Biden, who dropped out of the race in July. She is Biden. You know, she's trying to get away from Biden. I am not Joe Biden, and I am certainly not Donald Trump. And what I do offer is a new generation of leadership for our country. Both candidates continued to make their case after the debate. Vice President Harris greeting supporters at an event here in Philadelphia, while former President Trump claimed victory in the spin room with reporters. This was my best debate. I thought it was very good. This is very much two different visions for our country. Both campaigns taking a pause today to mark 23 years since the September 11th attacks are back in the swing states tomorrow. Now, when it comes to a second debate, uh, it's not one currently on the books, although both of these camps have expressed some kind of interest in that. We'll have to wait and see if they can lock something down. Uh, but next up is going to be the vice presidential debate on CBS on October 1st. Back to you. All right, Jared Hill, live from Philadelphia. Jared, thank you for your time. And tomorrow, Harris is in North Carolina, and Trump will be in Arizona. All right.